Friends, this is my new gaming monitor. This is the LG 75 Nano 99 8K TV. I've already done an unboxing of this over on our Brainist channel, which you can check out right up there, but suffice it to say, this thing is insane. 75 inch 8K resolution, but also capable of 4K 120 hertz. We're gonna get into the specs of this in just a second, but first I wanna say a big thanks to LG for sending this TV over to me for me to check out, play around with, and keep. So this is now mine. I previously had an LG 70 inch, but now I have upgraded. However, LG wants this to be part of their promotion for their new nano cell TVs that are coming out, their 2020 lineup, which are just massive, huge, ultra large displays. This is obviously the 75 inch, but they also offered me the possibility of doing an 86 inch 4K, but as it is, my TV stand barely fits this 75 inch and my wife would not appreciate if we had to get another TV stand because we already upgraded it to fit the 70 inch. So the 75 inch was my limits, but I have 8K and I hear a lot of you obviously asking, but what about content, Brett? You can't drive 8K content. We'll talk about that in a second, but let's go ahead and talk about LG's NanoCell technology in here because that's the point of these new TVs. They have the NanoCell technology, which increases the color gamut and gives you more pure colors, which is LG's marketing behind the NanoCell technology. But that actually isn't just marketing fluff. No. So as LG puts it, there's nanoparticles that filter and refine impure colors to reproduce pure and realistic images, which sounds like marketing, but actually comes due to the science of them producing this IPS panel. So I'll leave some links in the video description about how LG actually gets the NanoCell technology, but how they do it is by putting light absorbing material which blocks only the wavelengths of light between the red and green color filters, which prevents actual bleeding of the color of the pixels between one another and creates, as they say, a more pure color representation. And that is absolutely true. In all of my time of checking out this 8K TV, I have been blown away by not only the HDR vibrancy of the contrast between light and dark scenes, but also just the beauty of the colors that are actually there. So so as I mentioned, yes, this supports HDR. It's HDR10 Pro and HLG Pro. It supports Dolby Vision IQ as well as Dolby Atmos, but it also has full array local dimming on the IPS panel. And with it being 8K, that's pushing 33 million pixels in a 75 inch form factor, which is obviously four times as much as 4K, which is right around 4 million pixels, which I'm actually pretty stunned that Death Stranding, even though it is only running at 50 FPS, is even being managed to be run by my RTX 2080 Ti in this gaming PC at 8K. We'll talk about the gaming side of things in a second, but let's talk about 8K content because obviously that is few and far between. I actually remember watching plenty of videos when LG was rolling out their 4K TVs, especially the OLEDs. There was a lot of discussion about how you couldn't get 4K content at the time and you had to rely on 1080p upscaling or video streaming from YouTube. And it kind of seems like we're at that next step right now. There's not a ton of 8K content and the ton of, and the 8K content that is there is actually lower bit rate than you would expect. So the best that I could do is put on some 8K YouTube videos, which I have to tell you, I could immediately see the difference between 4K and 8K. But with that, that actually comes down to a lot of bit rate issues that YouTube has. The bit rate for 8K videos on YouTube is in that 70 to 80 megabit per second region, which you're gonna need a fast internet connection in order to even run that. But that's where a 4K Blu-ray player might actually come in because those tend to run at the 100 to 125 megabit per second bit rate, which gives you higher quality content, even though it's technically 4K, you're actually seeing a much clearer image due to just the bit rate that's coming through. But LG thought of this when they implemented their new Alpha 9 Gen 3 processor into this TV, which automatically upscales your content. This is one of the things that actually gives LG the true 8K experience is because their Alpha 9 processor can actually handle upscaling to 8K. And I have to 
tell you, between me having my 70 inch 4K and me having my 75 inch 8K from LG, it is absolutely clearer and sharper and more detail on the 8K even if I'm watching the same Netflix video, even if I'm watching the same YouTube video, no matter what content I'm watching, it is 100% clearer on this as opposed to my 70 inch 4K. But the TV is also technically future proof because it actually does have four HDMI 2.1 inputs, which will allow you to actually drive 8K displays once we have graphics cards from the major manufacturers that can actually drive that type of resolution. But let's talk about gaming for a second. This. TV right here has FreeSync Premium, which includes variable refresh rate, low frame rate compensation, and it actually covers the range of 48 hertz to 120 hertz when you're gaming. And it actually has incredibly low input lag on its game mode. So I actually tested this against my LG Nano Gear one millisecond IPS gaming monitor, which is 1440p and 144 hertz. That saw, at, with a Leo Bodner lag test, I saw an input lag on my Nano Gear gaming monitor that was 13.3 milliseconds on the gaming monitor. On this TV, 16 and a half. Only three milliseconds more on something that is not touted as a gaming monitor, which is the total input lag. Not pixel response time, but from the time the signal comes out from the lag tester to when it's received on the screen is only a three millisecond difference, which I think is actually phenomenal. And LG includes the auto low latency mode, which will automatically turn on game mode if it detects that one of the HDMI ports is actually running a video game. But as I mentioned, you can do this at 8K at 60 Hertz, or you have the option opportunity of doing 4K 120. Again, on those four HDMI 2.1 ports, you also have the capability for HDR gaming because of the fact that this thing can hit a thousand nits peak brightness, which I'm actually, in order to get me properly exposed, I have to run this at a much lower backlight rating. I'm at 22% right now, because when I actually run this at full blast, you'll see this will easily become overexposed. And this is actually a dark scene in the game where he's currently in the shadows. This thing gets massively bright. And when you're watching movies and other content that's even brighter, what I found is that you'll see in the B-roll, I'm filming in direct daylight. You'll see that there's a window right over there. In broad daylight, everything else looks dark because of how bright this TV actually gets. It is a wild experience to have that. But let's talk about the other content that we have because it also includes things like filmmaker mode, which allows you to watch movies in the way that the original creators intended you to see them, which is phenomenal for things like Interstellar. It creates the actual cinematic experience right here at your home. It automatically disables post-processing, uh, the motion smoothing, all of that. Make sure you have the correct aspect ratios, the colors, and the frame rates that the filmmaker intended, as well as including Dolby Vision IQ and Dolby Out which allows you to have proper HDR viewing in your living room, which obviously LG sent this to me. See how bright this is? Holy crap. Obviously LG sent this to me, but I have been a fan of LG TV since I had my first 4K TV with them because of WebOS. I love the software that comes included with their TVs. You got the Magic Remote, which acts like an air mouse so that you can actually go through and select all of the content that you might try to be viewing. And I just find their software to be incredibly intuitive. Actually navigating the menus is a breeze. You use the air mouse, you use the actual directional buttons. Everything works the way that you would want it to. It has Wi-Fi AC for you to connect to what you need. I just personally really love LG WebOS. All of the TVs that I have in my house were already LG. And when they reached out and asked me if I wanted to check out the 75 Nano 99, I absolutely had to say yes, because number one, I wanted to see what 8K content was for myself. And I know a lot of the naysayers might say that there isn't content. It's not actually worth it at this moment. And that's obviously dependent on your taste. The price of this TV is not in a place where the average consumer is going to want to do it. 4K content is, at the TV level is now where the general consumer can afford it. The general consumer is doing it. This is actually pushing the next generation of resolution. 8K content on YouTube actually looks tremendously different than 4K content. I can tell you that without beyond the shadow of a doubt. 8K gaming, not necessarily a reality on the current generation of graphics cards that we have, but that's why this TV is future-proof. It's actually gonna be ready for the RTX 30 series. It's gonna be ready for the PlayStation 5. It has everything that 
you need. It has FreeSync Premium. It includes everything that you need it to be for a gaming TV, and then you're ready for when 8K content starts actually rolling out, whatever the next generation of a Blu-ray player might be. Or when we start seeing more content streaming in 8K, I'm now actually prepared for that. And personally, not only did I have to choose between the 86 inch and the 75 inch, but for me, it was about choosing between that 8K and that 4K, and I decided I'd rather have something that I can go into the next generation with rather than sticking with 4K, even though that's great for the majority of consumers out there. For me, as being on the bleeding edge of tech as I want to be, having an 8K TV that can do also 4K 120 was absolutely where I wanted to put everything. So big thanks to LG for sending over the 75 Nano 99. I love this TV. It does everything that I thought it would. The colors with the Nano Cell technology look great. The actual differential with no bleed between the colors is phenomenal. 8K is awesome. The ultra large size means that no matter where I'm at in our living room, I can still view it properly. And this thing is freaking bright. It actually lights up the entire room so that I don't even need to turn on lights. And then it has all of the features that you would want. It has FreeSync Premium, low input lag, filmmaker mode. No matter what content you're actually experiencing on this TV, it's gorgeous and it's gonna last forever as well. This is an IPS LED backlit panel. I'm not gonna have to deal with anything in the future. This TV is gonna last for years to come and I am so thankful that I have it now. So big thanks to LG for sending it over. Big thanks to you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you think of the LG 75 Nano 99 down below. In the comments, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Get subscribed, stay up to date on all of our tech-related content here at UFD Tech and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.